geriatrics is really about the care of the most vulnerable of older people, helping our patients and families through those sometimes difficult moments of aging. Seniors have some unique health issues, and that is because they sometimes have different abilities than when they were younger. So these could be functional or cognitive changes. And as they get older, they seem to have a lot more medications. So those things can make medical care more complex for them. The mission of the UCSF Division of Geriatrics is to improve the health and well-being of older adults and those with serious illness through research, teaching, and clinical care. We focus on the person, and we try then to support them from the medical perspective, the social perspective, and then helping them to maintain their functional independence for as long as possible. We started in 1997 with just two faculty members, and we've really come a long way since then. It's been 25 years, and now we have about 130 people it's in a division, and we have just grown tremendously. Now we're one of the top 10 geriatrics divisions in the country, which has allowed us to really expand the number of clinical programs, the amount of teaching that we do, the amount of research that we do. When we only had two people, we couldn't be in all places, right? Now we have geriatricians across all settings of care. We have physicians and learners out at the San Francisco VA, administrative offices at the Mission Bay campus, and we also have physicians at the General and Parnassus. There's this collaborative breadth of work that we do across all the campuses of UCSF, which is very unique because other divisions tend to be more siloed. No matter where patients get care at UCSF, they now have the opportunity to see a geriatrician because we are so widely dispersed across the health system. As the population gets older and live longer, we're going to need more geriatricians because 10,000 people turn 65 every day. And there's only 6,000 geriatricians nationwide. So I do think it's trying to get more people into the field because I think more and more people recognize now the value of geriatrics and people want it because it makes a difference in the lives of older people who are some of the most understudied, underserved groups. Because aging is a universal experience and it's gonna to happen to ourselves and to everyone we love, we think it's important that all disciplines of medicine and all of the people that work in healthcare understand the general concepts of caring for older adults so that they can provide the best care possible. I think the power of the division is that it brings together amazing clinical care, cutting edge innovative research, and teaching. And it really is a stool. You need all three, and if you're missing one of them, the stool falls apart. Our clinical programs are really the basis for everything else we do. We launch many research projects from these programs, and it's where a lot of our educators educate learners who are coming through the system. We have a variety of geriatric clinical programs, and our goal is to meet the patient where they are. And I think that's a big component of geriatrics, whether it's in their home, it's in the hospital, it's in a nursing home. I always try and think, how do we bring the care to the person? And when I think about the research that our division is doing, it's usually the clinical situations where we realize something isn't working right that creates that passion to say, couldn't we be doing this better? It gets at the issues that fundamentally older people care about and that have often been ignored in most other research. Research in a vacuum is not strong, but if you're talking to clinicians, you're talking to educators, it makes a difference. You can change standards of care and affect a large group of people. And then I think education-wise, teaching people these principles of aging the educators in the Division of Geriatrics at UCSF are at the top of their field. They are doing incredibly important and innovative things in all the areas of education. And they are award-winning educators, and they lead one of the best fellowship programs in the country. They learn by taking care of patients. There are so many more settings of care that need our help, so I, I hope that we continue to grow across our clinical programs, across our research programs, and across our education programs to continue to make a huge difference to our older patients.
thinking about the past 25 years, it's been really fun to to watch all the, the people join the division. It's a group of very passionate, mission-driven people who I love working with and that make a huge difference in the lives of, of older people.